Snow day. This is not motorcycle weather. <laughs> and this isn't going to happen for at least another couple of months, if we're lucky, up here in northern New York. That being said, it is a good time to buy a motorcycle. This week I'll share some tips on getting through PMS, that's parked motorcycle syndrome, plus explain why you should be buying now, what you need to look for, and how you can get the best price in this week's video. <laughs> Welcome back returning subscribers. Welcome new subscribers. In case you are new here, my name is Dawn, aka Irish Bob Sister, and all three Harley Davidson dealerships that I've worked at over the last nearly 15 years have all believed in cross training. So, even though I was primarily motor clothes when I first started out, I was able to help out behind the parts counter and as a service rider. And now that my primary job is marketing at FX Repair Harley Davidson, I still have that knowledge with me, plus work with our sales and F&I teams and have learned a lot from them as well. Plus, Harley-Davidson does keep dealership employees trained up through their training portal. That training goes all the way back to World War I and the service school. Back then, they quickly learned the benefits of training everyone who has anything to do with the bikes. These days, I have access to all those online classes from learning about the amp dual mode battery charger to the Zephyr mixed media jacket and everything in between. The, taking those classes, escaping the cold and snow by reading and watching motorcycle books and movies, planning out my motorcycle adventures and saving money for those adventures is what keeps me going through the winter months. Of course, if you have some tips and tricks that you use, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. But with the riding season a good two or three months away, why should you buy a motorcycle now if you're thinking of buying a bike at all this year? Well, here's a couple of things to keep in mind. First off, more selection. Dealers have been taking in trades and might even have been buying bikes at auction in addition to having new motorcycles come rolling in. That means in the winter months, you have more of a selection to choose from. Number two, less competition. With the nights still longer than the days and winter storms blowing through, most people prefer to stay warm and cozy at home. And that translates to less competition at the dealership for your dream bike. However, as the days lengthen and the warm weather begins to roll back in, usually around the end of March, beginning of April, more and more people will start to get the itch. And that means an increased demand. So now that you know the why, let's look at what you should be looking at when looking at motorcycles, no matter what time of the year you're planning to buy. First, do your homework before going to the store. Have a basic idea of the bike that you're looking for. Will it have saddlebags? Do you want cruise control? What will your down payment be? Where do you want your APR and monthly payments to be? Now, go ahead and head on over to the shop and check out what they've got in stock. Keep in mind that if you don't see exactly what you're after, they will have a list of new bikes that are coming in. Or you can ask about ordering your dream machine right from the factory. Looking at buying a previously enjoyed, aka pre-owned motorcycle? That is certainly a viable option. New to you bikes often have little extras already done, like stage one kits, sissy bar backrests, luggage racks, speaker upgrades, and more. That means the work has already been done for you. There are some signs a bike will show you that you do need to take into consideration when looking at a pre-owned motorcycle. Especially if you're looking at the bike outside of the showroom, in other words, with a private party. First off, age of the bike versus its mileage. 40,000 miles on a bike is starting to get up there. Of course, there is still plenty of life left in that bike, don't get me wrong. It just becomes a question of how those miles were put on. If the bike is nine years old with 40,000 miles, then that's not a lot. But if the bike is only two years old, you can see where I'm going with this. For comparison, my 2018 Heritage Softail has just under 37,000 miles and it's almost four years old. 
actually it is four years old this month uh -huh. take a look at the little things what do they look like pitting on the front forks leaking oil or other fluids rust on the exhaust bolts bubbles under the master cylinder cap these are all little things that could add up to a bigger picture where the rubber meets the road please do not forget the tires what is the age of the tires? Look for the manufacturing date code on them. How much tread depth is left on them? Run your hand over the tire. Is it scalloped at all? Start your engines with permission, of course. Inside the showroom, ask the salesman or woman that you're working with or the private party that owns the bike for them to go ahead and start it up for you. Does it start like it should? What does it sound like when it's running cold? What does it sound like when the engine's being revved up? What does it sound like when it's running, when it's all warmed up? <laughs> Listen to what that bike is saying. Last but not least, on the record, does the bike have a history of routine maintenance being performed? And I'm talking about actual maintenance, not just an oil change. For Harleys, that's the first 1,000 miles, and then at 5,000 miles, and then every 5,000 miles after that, i.e. 5, 10, 15,000 miles, and so on. Does the bike have any open recalls on it? If you're looking at bikes in the dealership showroom, then you know that the most recent maintenance and any recalls have already been taken care of. However, if you are looking at a bike with a private party outside of the showroom, then these are important questions that you're going to want to ask and that they should have the answer to. Keep in mind that the perfect pre-owned bike is a very rare find. Just like a used car or truck, there are going to be some signs of wear and tear. Although, the more these signs that are showing could give you a little bit more negotiating power when it comes to the price. And if you're thinking of trading the bike that you have, then before you ask that dealership what they give you on trade, be sure to ask those questions of your bike. The more you've spent on maintenance that has been done by trained factory technicians means that you could get a better trade-in price for your bike. Back to buying that bike. There is a caveat though. And that is right now, thanks to you know what, the prices of some pre-owned vehicles, be it cars, trucks, motorcycles, even right on lawn mowers, can be more now than what they were when they were new. And that means a lot of people are going to be ordering right from the factory. So if that's the route that you think you might be taking, then again, you're probably going to want to get over to your dealership now. Yes, you can reserve a Harley Davidson, and yet there are still a limited number of reservations that the MoCo has. This has already happened with snowmobile sales. The dealership where I work at, FX Capra Harley Davidson, is a multi-line dealer. So we also carry ski doos and Articat sleds. And this, the winner, is the time to be riding those around. Thanks, Captain Obvious. For those not familiar with these machines, typically in the spring, the manufacturers open up what they call snow checks. You can order the sled that you want in March or April and have it delivered the following winter. Last year, both BRP and Textron, owners of ski and Articat respectively, announced that they would only be filling those snow check orders and providing a few demo sleds to dealers. Nothing more. So now that we've got all the snow, people are calling us wanting to buy a sled and are being told, yeah, sorry, no, we just don't have any. Nope, no used ones either. Absolutely no leftovers. We sold those last year. Yes, you can order one, but that window opens up in the spring. Yes, you'll get your sled next winter. Right, we can call you back in March if you'd like. Okay, what's your number? That means going back to the original subject of this video, if you're wanting a new or new to you motorcycle for 2022, then you've got some work to do and probably want to head over to the dealership now. I know I keep saying now, but I really, I mean now. Another bonus to buying a bike that's in stock now, there's still time left to get any extras you want put on while we're waiting. 
just like I did with my 2018 Heritage that I bought four years ago. I had them install the engine guard, mirrors, grips, and levers, so I was all set to go once spring arrived. And there you have it. Do you live in a cold weather climate and have your bikes tucked safely away? Or are you in a place where you can ride year round? See any tips or tricks that I missed? Let me know in the comments below, along with any questions that you might have, because I'd like to hear what you have to say. While you're there, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you know someone who is buying a bike this year, I'd be ever so thankful if you shared this video with them. Thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate you being here. Until next week, guys and gals, please stay safe. Be kind to one another, even when talking about price. Ride when you can and have fun.